And it is main event time. We've got big six-man tag action. Of course, what a way to start things going, I guess, in the past couple of weeks, of course, for 2013. Pretty huge implications, really, if you think about it, because we've got, you know, in essence, Team Anarchy, and you've got Team Elite, but so many stories really coming out of this because of, of course, season's beatings. As you remember, Brett Wolverton, you know, Jeff G. Bailey thought he had it in the bag, and so certainly with the brandishing of his own version of the Universal Soldier, Brian Casanova. However, I, I think it's almost like they're looking in the mirror, they're, they're shell-shocked, because I don't think they realize, or, or really it's sunk in, that Brian Casanova's on the out other side, with, with Team Anarchy, because we, the biggest thing that we saw was, of course, a TNA's gunner basically brandishing him, the official Universal Soldier, because, you know, as the Anarchy fans here know, that, that gunner, a.k.a., of course, Phil Shatter, was the Universal Soldier. That's right, and touching on the military background, I like the use of the word shell shock there. That, that, that was clever. I, I try. That's why I should be at least nominated for George <laughs> blah, blah, blah of the year. Couldn't resist. But yes, great, you know, moments really coming out of season's beatings that really changed the landscape here into 2013. And this matchup really is no different. Of course, we've got three big competitors for the Elite. And I, as, speaking of which, you know, we saw coming out of that the new Anarchy Heavyweight Champion, Sean Tempers. And I noticed before the match even started, he handed off his, his championship to Deep Byers and he kissed the Heavyweight Championship, almost like to say, look, I, I'm going to miss you for just a little while, but soon you'll be back in my grasp. It, it, exactly. As soon as that final bell rings, the bell will be back in my hands where he feels that it belongs. That could be debated, especially by the straight cat, Brody Chase. And of course, you know, Sean Tempers, you've got the Deadly Sin 7. You've got, as I like to call him, the Grizzly Adams of Anarchy. At least he's been growing out the beard nonetheless. Bo Newsom. Then, of course, on the other side, you've got Slim J, Billy Buck. And of course, we've touched on Brian Casanova. But in regards to Billy Buck, of course, the new Anarchy television champion. Officially the, the television champion. Yes, and that best of five series that concluded season's beatings against the likes of the man that's currently in the ring right now, Bo Newsom. On the thumb right to the eye of Brian Casanova allows Bo Newsom to make the tag to Sean Tempers, and Sean wants to back off just a little bit. I think he realizes they all know on that side exactly what Brian Casanova is capable of, and I'm sure Slim J and Billy Buck feel great having Brian Casanova on their side for once. Well, I know Slim J is still a little uneasy about having Brian Casanova on his side. Casanova and Slim J, former Anarchy Wrestling Tag Team Champions, only losing the championships when Casanova joined the Elite last year. Yeah, it's one of those things, you know, if, if you like, if, if you do something to me, I might not trust you quite as much, and it'll take a long time or, to rebuild that trust. Well, the and old saying, those who forget history are often doomed to repeat it. And you have to wonder how much does, is there trust between Slim J and Brian Casanova. You know, of course, there's always willing to let bygones be bygones saying as well, too. But I'm sure Brian Casanova is going to have to continue to to really build that, that trust back with Slim J and a lot of the, the, of course, the wrestlers on the anarchy side in the locker room. And meanwhile, the big test of strength between these two big men. You can see the muscles in the back and shoulders of both of these superstars tightening, twitching at the, the grips here of both of these athletes in this test of strength. And certainly right now seems to be favoring the Deadly Sin 7 with the strength advantage as Brian Casanova all the way to his knees. Meanwhile, the Deadly Sin 7 hasn't even flinched really, but Casanova coming back at least. And Deadly Sin 7 not giving him the opportunity as he cuts him off of the pass. And again, both men going for shoulder tackles. And either one seems to really be budging and it working. They're going to probably have to pull a little bit more for that. 7 says do it one more time. Goes in for it all. But misses in that beautiful drop kick from Brian Casanova. Casanova able to duck the hammer of the Deadly Sin 7. Oh, and meanwhile, we've got all men coming in now at this point. A little bit of unity here between the members of Team Anarchy. Slim J, Wild Billy Buck coming in at the assist of Brian Casanova. And of course, we're here, part of main event time. Tim E.D. along with Brett Wolverton. What great action that we've got here. Big six-man tag action. And, and what, this has been a great hour, I'd have to say, Brett. It, you know. it is. It's been a tremendous week of anarchy wrestling. We saw the return of the modern classic B.J. Hancock victorious in his return in that triple threat. Jeter with a decisive victory over the former anarchy heavyweight and tag team champion Osriel. And then what the, still that tension between the Young Lions champion Strick Knight and Anthony Henry. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely, and so much coming out of this week, and, and we're not even done yet, of course, because we are in the main event time, and these two certainly remember each other. Slim J, Bo Newsom, they've certainly been around. They were part of Anarchy, 
and so many dynamics going into this. Bo Newsom just trying to fill out Slim Jay just to see exactly where, of course, Slim Jay, you know, certainly teaching and, and training Bo Newsom in a lot of different ways. But as, as the old saying goes, you know, I haven't taught you everything that I know. And that good waist lock go behind there from Slim Jay. Bo Newsom trying to pry the hands off of Slim Jay. Tries to reach through, trying to grab a leg. He did. Very effective there from Bo Newsom. Side headlock there. Slim Jay's really got to be careful to not have the shoulders on the mat. He doesn't want a pinfall here. Head scissor take down. It looks like Bo Newsom trying to make his way back up. Trying to springboard his way. Good way to break that move. Knees straight into Slim Jay. And now back again. Looks like from, from this vantage point, maybe biting him perhaps, or at least Slim Jay trying to push him back into the corner. And you know, certainly time is going to tell just what type of anarchy television champion Billy Buck is going to make. Of course, we know in the past, as a champion, he certainly defends to all comers that come along. And I expect no different. But here right now, he's siding up with Slim Jay and Brian Casanova to really go against the likes of the elite. Maybe put that final nail in the coffin this week and really maybe get things back to normal here in anarchy. I don't know if you can say there's any such thing as normal in anarchy wrestling. There's always something going on, always somebody waiting in the wings to take that opportunity and skyrocket to the top. Yeah, that's so true. Oh, great move there from Slim Jay. He can fly and poop around all over the place and just can hit you. No, don't even realize it. Meanwhile, he's dropping that elbow onto Bo Newsom. Got the finger lock there, wrenching on it. Bo Newsom in pain while Slim Jay follows through again. Going to use the middle rope springboards off the top as well. Oh, no. And can connect it beautifully into a, a nice forearm there. Oh, my gosh. Did you see the second one? See, tremendous move by Slim Jay, and it shows the experience. The move didn't quite happen how he wanted it to. He was able to think on his feet and come up with a offensive strike against Newsom. That's why I always say Slim Jay is so deadly to you because he may not always be the biggest in size, but just the high flying that he can do, the ability that he has, and be able to almost like stop in midair and, and refigure it out is amazing. And meanwhile, Bo Newsom catches him. What are we going to see here from him? Slim Jay flying through. Waist like go behind. Bo Newsom trying to hold on to the ropes. He does. Follows through against Slim Jay. And meanwhile, Slim Jay takes out the leg, and now he's got several different bags, that, uh, tricks out of his bag, I should say, of the arsenal that he can go from here. Forearm strike to the back of the neck. Short neck breaker by Slim J as he goes up and over. Ooh. It follows up with an enziguri to the back of the head. Goes for the cover. And right now, Bo Newsom allowed to go back into his corner, makes the tag to Sean Timbers. Drop toe hold from Slim J. Slim J, Matt wrestling him right now. Of course, Matt wrestling the Anarchy Heavyweight Champion. We know that Brody Ray Chase you know, certainly has not forgot about Sean Tempers just because he and, and Iceberg have won that opportunity to go against the Urban Assault Squad. Of course, for a future matchup for the Anarchy Tag Team Championship. Certainly, season's beatings. If you have joined us, you saw the controversy that took place in that first blood matchup. But of course, Sean Tempers seems to be a magnet himself almost for, for championship titles. They always seem to somehow wind up back in his grasp. Oh, beautiful move there from Slim Jay with a bridge. And meanwhile, follows through again. Didn't get the three, but the double stomp and the elbow as well. Almost using the uh, stomach of the temptation as a trampoline. Stomps the chest, the upper chest. We'll be going for a standing moon cell. Standing corkscrew by Slim Jay. Goes for the cover. I can imagine what Slim Jay's couch must look like in the living room. It's like I know when I was younger, I, I tend to enjoy jumping off of a lot of things, but I certainly didn't have the athletic prowess that Slim Jay does. And Billy Buck now being tagged in. And meanwhile, Slim Jay and, and Billy Buck working together greatly at the moment. Holding on, he's got to the count of five, and they utilize up until that moment. And of course, again, Billy Buck. We've seen Billy Buck and Slim, or rather, uh, Sean Tempers, you know, over the years as well, too, with great rivalries. They had many battles over not just the Anarchy Heavyweight title, but the North American Championship. The Tempers held in 2012. Buck came close several times to winning both of those championships, but was never quite able to defeat the Temptation. You're absolutely right, but it certainly made Billy Buck a stronger competitor, and that might be one of the reasons why he is the current Anarchy Television Champion. Double axe handle off the top rope, rolls over. Sean Tempers goes in for the cover, but only still able to get a two count. And of course, we've got Jerry Palmer on the outside here, pretty much watching traffic as everything goes on in the ring. Billy Buck, man, 
flips Sean Tempers over. And you know, Jerry Palmer would love nothing more than 2013 to continue to try and have some type of dominance. And they certainly are looking pretty right now at the moment as they have got the heavyweight championship in their fold. And with that comes a little bit of power, you know, unfortunately for good or bad, it certainly gives you a little bit of stake. And then when you've got the GM as well on the corner, it certainly stacks the favor, I'm sure the elite feel in their, their, their eyes. Well, we saw in 2012 a lot of the decisions made by Jerry Palmer that it helped lean towards the favor of the elite. You know, it, they haven't really been abusing the power lately other than the fact that Stray Cat Brody Chase has been told he's not getting another shot at the heavyweight title. That guaranteed rematch clause, gone. Yeah, that certainly doesn't surprise me. Of course, I wouldn't want Jerry Palmer looking over any of my legal documents, that's for sure. I'm sure he'd probably, somehow or another, I wouldn't get any life insurance. But trying to inch his way over to make the tag, Slim J, Brian Casanova, either one would be would be a great opportunity and allow him the, the chance really to, to rest up if there is able to be such a thing after, of course, the, the receiving end of a, something from Deadly Sin 7. And right now, Seven picking up Billy Buck again. Billy Buck certainly got to be careful here. Seven's really got nothing to lose, but Billy Buck has an Anarchy Television Championship that will be having to be defended very soon. And we mentioned in the tag team match earlier on with the Young Lions champion, the Lethal Dose Strict Nine. Anytime the champion is in the ring in a match that isn't for the championship, he puts his body at risk for those future title defenses. Yeah, what is into a championship match like right now? Billy Bucks in the bear hug that weakens the ribs. It could crack a rib. He goes into a championship match with that weakness. The wrestler that he's in the ring with will know that and they will target that injury. Yeah, what a shame it would be if Billy Bucks somehow had to relinquish the championship because of an injury. And look at that, like a rag doll. Is seven just flipping and flopping Billy Buck all over the place? And Billy Buck, man, may be out here. D. Byers raising the hand was one. We're going to try for it a second time. That's two. He's got one more opportunity, and this match could be it if Billy Buck can't have a little bit of life left in him. He's trying. Luckily, he's got the fans on his side here in Cornelia. Meanwhile, Seven's still holding on, but Billy Buck trying to fight back. He did what he needed to do, went high, and kind of uh, played cymbals against the ears of the Deadly Sin Seven. Seven shoves him off right into the corner of the elite, though. Oh, and Billy Buck right now trying to fight his way out of the bad side of town in the corner, side slam from seven, goes in as well. Well, I thought he was gonna go in for the cover, but meanwhile, I don't know if he's, he's staggering just a little bit from Billy Buck's offense, or he wants to punish just a little bit more, and I think I've got my answer. Watch the height. Oh, man! Well, what goes up must come down, and it came down hard on the canvas. Now, for those of you who have never been inside of a wrestling ring, the only thing a wrestling ring is comprised of is steel bars, wood planks, a very, very thin layer of padding, and then that overall canvas on top. So that was not a soft landing by any means for the Deadly Sin. And Billy Buck needs to be able to make the tag right now. He's trying to fight his way through, spinning around, hitting with that right as well. He's so close to his corner, but he's got, he might as well be fighting through a wall right now because he can't get past seven to be able to make the tag to Brian Casanova or Slim J. And Billy Buck finding himself back in the bear hug of the Deadly Sin Seven. Oh Center my gosh, the power! Picking him up. Billy Buck, about 221 pounds. Deadly Sin Seven picks him up almost like he was nothing. And right now, get Billy Buck back into the corner. And look at just, just the clubbing back and forth, left, right, back, and forth. And, and Seven doesn't even flinch, but you can see the end result of Billy Buck. There's like nothing there. The lights are on. And right now, the tag is going to be made to Sean Tempers while Seven is using the boot to basically prevent you know, Billy Buck really from making the tag. And Sean Tempers might need to keep his eye if he doesn't want Billy Buck to make that tag. Awfully close, but you have to wonder if the punishment hadn't been inflicted, he might have been having the, the, the tag made, and Slim J, Brian Casanova would have been in right now. Well, Casanova and Slim J on the apron desperately want to get in. You see Slim J climbing the rope, scaling up. He wants in there in the worst way. Well, one thing that Seven did is really ground the Billy Bucks offense as well, because, you know, as I with bat problems, really, you know, that really grounds a lot of what you can do. And, of course, we know that Billy Buck loves to hit you with that buck wild, that super kick, 
and if he's not able to stand up, he's not going to be able to get the whole thing. You know. and, and even if he gets the extension on, that's going to hurt the midsection that's been worked on, and he may not be able to get the full hold. Yeah, exactly right. And Sean Tempers, again, with the advantage at the moment, being able to make the tag to Bo Newsom while holding on to his opponent. Bo Newsom sizing him up, hits him, Billy Buck down, and now what is Bo Newsom going to do? And it feels like it has been an eternity, and it must feel like that for Billy Buck since we have seen the likes of either Brian Casanova or Slim Jay in the ring. Right now, Bill, uh, Bo Newsom rather, sends Billy Buck to the ride. Man, as much authority as Bo Newsom could possibly well, get. You can see him throw himself in the opposite direction for that extra momentum. That's you know, 209 pounds of Bo Newsom setting him off into the corner. Only able to get a two count. You have to wonder if Billy Buck wasn't tangled up in the ropes there. It was just really stopping the referee from starting the count. That this match might have already been over. And so, you can see just toying almost with, with how close they are with making the tag for Billy Buck. D. Byers had to keep a close eye on Slim J because even if Billy Buck had made the tag, Slim J's feet weren't on the ring apron. Usually your feet must be on the apron and you must be holding the tag rope in order for the tag to be legal. A slingshot there, Bo Newsom face first into the top turnbuckle. Could this provide the break that Billy Buck needs to make the tag with Sean Tempers? And seven are gonna see fit that that's not gonna happen. Both men of Billy Buck's team took a nasty spill on the outside here. Meanwhile, Bo Newsom trying to still again work on Billy Buck, but being distracted by both men, maybe allowing Billy Buck the opportunity to get just a little, wait a second. On the outside here, Jerry Palmer winding up yeah, batting great. practice. There's the windup. What? There's a stray cat. The umpire of anarchy, Brody Ray Chase, is going to see fit that that's not going to happen along with Iceberg. The number one contenders to the Anarchy Wrestling Tag Team Championship are out here, and Brody Chase has a hold of Big Nasty. And right now, Bo Newsom in the ring as Dee Byers has got 50 million people to have to deal with at the moment. I think Jerry Palmer is headed somewhere down the interstate. And Billy Buck comes back with intensity. He folded Bo Newsom inside out. Bo Newsom, I can read the lettering on his tights. And I'm telling you what, this might be the cheerleading squad that Billy Buck's team needed right at the moment. And, and having the number one contenders in your corner for the tag team championship is not a bad cheerleading group to have. Not in the slightest bit. And you know one of the first shots that Jerry Palmer took against Anarchy was to Brody Chase with Big Nasty. And Billy Buck time and time again keeps getting so close. I didn't see that he make the tag. He, he got D. Byers isn't throwing Casanova out, so there was a tag made. And good news for the team of Billy Buck. Brian Casanova, the freshman in, has had a chance to really regroup from earlier in the contest. And meanwhile, seven, keep your eye on him, Brian Casanova. Going to give an extra shot on the back of seven. Oh, man, the buck wild right from the outside. And Slim J as well. Head scissor, the deadly set seven goes out. Man, what a buck wild from Billy Buck. And meanwhile, Sean Tempers attacking Brian Casanova. Sean Tempers, Bo Newsom, and the elite have not forgotten. Brian Casanova switching sides and going over to Anarchy. And meanwhile, action on the outside here. Yeah, we have Slim J with the deadly shit seven out on the floor. Ducks, dump, oh, oh no! Tempers ducked the clothesline. Uh, boot to the midsection of Brian Casanova. Sean Tempers again works. He's working on the back of the neck. Could be going for the neck breaker. We've got action on the outside. We've got action on the inside. Oh, he, he is. It looks like he's going for that neck breaker. He's got him, he's got him rolled over. What he's got to do. Oh. But it looks like Brian Casanova fighting through with the strength, prying the hands off of him, turning Sean Tempers over. Up into the fireman's carry. And oh. down. He goes for the cover. One, two, three. He just pinned the heavyweight champion. The all winners of the bout, the team of Brian Casanova, Slim J, and the Anarchy Wrestling Television Champion, Brian Billy Buck.